let's hear this question five, right? So I have a refer cursive formula which is f of n plus one equals, sorry, f of n plus one equals, this is f at n minus two. And if we're saying here, um, f at one is 18, what is f at five, right? If, if f at one, so saying if f at one equals 18, then what is f at five? So let me plug in f of one here and let's see how it satisfies this uh, equation here. So f at one means that n would equal one, right? So if n equals one, then therefore, I'll do this in blue because it's not a solution yet. If f at one here, n here has to equal has to equal zero, right? Because this entire thing has to equal has to equal one, right? Therefore, the only logical thing here, n has to equal zero, right? Equals, and f at n would be f at zero minus two. This here would equal 18, right? This entire thing equals 18. So what I can do is I can actually solve for, I can solve for f at, what f at zero is naturally, right? Because if I know f at zero uh, minus two equals 18, then what I can do is I can do uh, f at zero minus two equals 18. I can move two to the other side. So I have f at zero would equal uh, 20, right? So that's gonna be my, uh, my first kind of giveaway in this problem here. Uh, f of one equals 18. So what I can do then, uh, what I can do now is I can solve for f at two, right? Because if I know f at zero is 20, so I'm write this down, f at zero is 20, and I know f of one is 18, let me solve for f at two, right? So let me erase this and solve for f at two. And you can see a pattern soon. So this is f here because it's a recursive formula, right? So I, f, I'm gonna say f at two. I wanna plug in f equals at two would equal, this is f at f at two minus two, right? Uh, so wait, hold up, let me, give me a second, sorry. So f at two, would equal, let's see, uh, if n here equals, um, so let me do f, so n here equaled, uh, equaled zero in this case, n at one would equal, or f at one would equal 18. Let me try, uh, let me try f at, if n equals one here. So if n equals one, you get something like this. So f at two would equal f at one, which is 18 minus two. So f at two would equal 16. So let me write down that uh, f at two would equal 16 here. So it's getting, you can see some type, some type of pattern, right? 20, 18, 16, the next one's probably gonna be 14, right? It's decreasing by two, right? So that's kind of our recursive formula here. So I'm gonna verify that by solving for three, um, four, and five as well. So let me, let me verify that for you. And you're gonna realize that it's gonna be a pattern here. So I'll solve for one more. Um, so if I found that, if f I found f two, let's do f at three. So f at three would mean the n here would have to equal two, right? So it would equal f at two minus two. So which f at three equals f of two is sixteen as depicted here, minus two. F at three equals fourteen, right? So I have f at three equals fourteen. Therefore, if I if I kept doing this thing here, f at five would equal again f of four would be. 12 and the f of 5 would be 10, right? It's simply just decreasing by 2, right? So it's defined by this uh, this here. This is the recursive formula, right? If I have n plus 1 here, the next n value would give me whatever the previous one here is subtracted by 2, right? So whatever this here is subtracted by 2, this here is 2, this is subtracted by 2, this is subtracted by 2, and this is subtracted by 2. So this, therefore, f of 5 equals 10. Okay, so let's 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 solve this. Let's look at this problem here. So they put n equals one. They solved for it. Um, uh, to f of two is sixteen. That's good. F of three is fourteen. F of four is twelve. F of five here is ten. So they actually just subbed in all the all the values and then they uh, plugged it in. So they so this is a good solution. Good solution, and step by step. Um, I wish they included what type of what kind of what, what what defines the recursive formula and what a recursive formula here is 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 the next function here def depends on the value it was previously so f at zero or f at one depends on f at zero f of two depends on f of one f of three depends on f of, f of two right it depends on the it's the 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 f, f of the next number so and f of n plus one depends on the previous n value and we're gonna subtract that by two here in this case. Um, so 
I wish there was a definition or explanation of what of what a recursive formula recursive formula was next f uh, f at n value depends on the previous f of n value minus two yeah that's good okay sweet so solution here is correct